Today I patched up an old block porch and some stone, old stone foundation. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, a lot of noise here, but we're going to do this foundation. This is an old cinder block. And then what they did was they poured concrete over the top. And over here, we got stone and they blocked the windows up. We're going to talk about that. So we gotta we gotta patch this all up. This is all falling apart. We're not gonna make a big deal out of it. And I think we're gonna stucco the whole thing. See this? Water's getting in behind there. We gotta patch this up a little bit. Got weeds growing out of here. Down at the bottom looks like critters are getting in there. And we're not gonna waste our time trying to point anything up. Then over here we got stone again. They put a different door in. And then around this side, same thing. We got the stone foundation. We don't know how far we're gonna go first. We're gonna talk to the owner. But the first thing on our list is to get this part all fixed up right here. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, the first thing we want to do, these are old cinder blocks. See them? And when they made cinder blocks back in the 50s and the 60s and even into the 70s, they went down to where they were, uh, the power plants were burning off coal. So they would get the old cinders and they'd make blocks out of them. Now this got sand in here, this got everything. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I'm just going to fix it. That's it. Then we're going to plaster the whole thing. As we go, I'll explain it to you. We're not going to be getting no trophies here. See, a lot of that's still solid. If it ain't moving, we're not going to touch it. Same thing here. Just the loose stuff we're going to get. We're going to fill it in. Looks like they filled this with sand. I don't know. We're not going to make a big deal out of it though. I'm just going to get it out, wash it out, that's it. Look at they got roots in here. Up here. Birds nest in the air, everything. Rip this all out. And we're getting uh, away from the foundation. So for this job, I'm using uh, half a bucket of S mortar. You see it? It's a half a bucket. And we're mixing in. Portland cement, half a buck, just like that. That's my mix, two sand, one masonry sand, another masonry sand, the half a bucket of S mortar, half a bucket of Portland. And then I add the water, and I mix it up. So that's about it about where I want it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is hose everything off. See that? Get that all wet. All the loose stuff out of there. Then we know two things. When it's wet, it's going to stick and it's clean. So we know that. Good. Now we're going to use everything here. I've got junk pieces of everything. Put it in. Whatever is going to work is going to work. Let me see. We're going to do it this way. I'm just going to put it in, see? Well, that don't work. Work this way. Just like that. Then over here, put some broken pieces of brick in. Let me see. Broken pieces of brick. 
go in there like that. Some more cement. So we're filling in, filling in is that's just what we're doing. Using all kind of junk to fill in. That's all it's gonna do is fill the thing in. No big deal. If it don't work, we'll make it work. Use all kind of junk that we can. Just like that. And let's see, a brick will go this way maybe. That way. See? Put it right in there like that. No big deal. It's all gonna get plastered, so we're not worried about it. Might have to put a shim in there to hold it. Right? The brick will put that in there. Add in there, like that. Get one to go across like, like that. Kind of tie that in a little bit. Put one in here like this. Just like that. Then, to pack it up in there just like that no big deal get it all in there that's good over here pack it in see that now I'm just gonna plaster this up a little bit wet it up like that and we're gonna plaster it see that Just gonna scratch it because we're gonna go over it again. Just gonna scratch it, that's all we're doing. Same thing, wash this all out, get all the junk out of it, like that, and then we're gonna fill it in. Got junk pieces of this, that'll fit in there nice. That'll fit in there, like that. I'm not gonna throw a lot of time at this. Just get it in. Get some pieces of block. Whatever works here. Like that. That, wet it up, plaster it up. Okay, we'll let that sit. We're gonna let this all sit out and we fill our other coat. All right, we're gonna look at what I did. Filled the corner in there underneath, and then I get in here and patched all these up. Now it right like that and then we're gonna put a scratch coat on it. Go get some cement and put a scratch coat on it. Now we're gonna wet this down real good. Because wetting is what's gonna make it stick. What we call a base coat. All we want to do is cover up all the sins and that's it. We got that in there. We're gonna do the corner a little bit. So we got that plastered up. Now we're just gonna get the broom and broom it. 
just like that. That's going to be our base coat. Let me get the room. Okay, you see here where I filled in the holes. I went right through with it. We get over here. Same thing, filled all the holes in. Now this is all gonna dry up. It's all gonna dry up. See it? And it's gonna show those spots. When we go over it the second time, it's gonna hide all that. Now we're gonna deal with this stone part. So let's talk about these stone walls. You can see like the coal and everything in here. This is all lime. This is all lime. And when they did this, this is all mine rock. I could take you up the dumps where I live and show you. Now the farther you go down, you see the lime is all falling apart. We don't really care about that. We're going to use our old school bonding agent. Over here, years later, they put a door in, so they just use regular block. So where I live, there's mountains and mountains of this old mine rock. You could even see, like, there's one with a fossil in it. You can see the fossil, all different sizes, all different ways. It's what made those old cellars from. Right there is the mountain of old mine rock. It's all over the place. You can see it down here. It's laying all over. And that's Wyoming Valley of Pennsylvania. And that's the town I live in, right down in there. We got mounds of this stuff laying around. It's all garbage rock. That's why I don't care about plastering over it. It's all garbage. And I could still come over here and pick some coal. See it? That's a good piece of coal. This is called bony. But everything else they took out of there is mine rock. See? It's all different stuff they took out of here. Well, for a uh, bonding agent, I'm just getting straight Portland. It's upside down Portland. Put it in an empty bucket, just like that. Add some water, just like that. And I'm gonna make this into a paint. Just like a little better than a milkshake, maybe. See that, I'm making it into a paint. That's my bonding agent. The first thing we do, Wash it all down. Make it wet. If it's loose, it's going to come out of there. If it's not loose, it's not going to come out of there. So now I'm going to get my old school bonding agent. Put it in there. That's going to make that stick like you wouldn't believe. Now, it's a little stiffer, and throw it in there, just like that. We gotta do a second coat. So the only thing we're doing this time is filling in the holes, that's it. Big holes, that's all we're doing. We're gonna come back and do it again another day. Now, got all the stiff cement in, filling all the big holes in. See that? I'm going to make a crazy thing out of it. Just like that. Now, just going to go over the other spots, like that. And we could use this. That don't hurt nothing. Make it stick a little better. But usually with cinder block, you don't have to do that. Just so you know. That's good enough for cinder block. So I've got all these racks sticking out. Disguise all that. So 
not going to worry about it now. We're just going to get it so we can scratch it. It all works out. Okay, we got our first coat on. And we're going to, then we come back with our second coat. We'll all match up. I'm back and it's like a week and a half later because of the rain. But you can see the dark spots. That's where it took cement longer to dry. And the reason we put a second coat on is to hide all that stuff. So it's looking good. Hard as a rock. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna I'm gonna start plastering, but I'm gonna start plastering from over here. Because when you start with plaster, you want to start from one side and keep going all the way. And then that all blend in on one color. Now before I even mix the cement, I'm wetting it. Why am I wetting it? Because I want to make sure it doesn't suck the water out of the plaster. I'm wetting it. So it's already wet. Break all the burrs off of it. Like that. Then I'm just going to wet it again. Not too much, just enough. And I'm going to start plastering it. have to be thick. There's no reason for for this stuff to be thick. A lot of guys think thick is better, but then when you go to fix it, it's too thick. So we keep it thin. As long as your cement is rich enough, you're good. So we got that there, and now we're just going to brush it. That's it. Just brush it. See, it's wet. You're going to see those lines. You brush it. And then, you get your trowel, go like that and it'll stick. And we're just going to give it what we call the combat finish or the Swedish look. And that's just going to hide all those sins. All those going in and out and everything. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. That's it. That hides all that. All that ins and outs. It hides all of that. We'll go to the side. Wet it again. Get the plastering trowel. Right over it. Just like that. Second coat. No big deal. Get our trowel.
a good finish for like an apartment building like this. Something where you want to hide stuff. I got a lot of stones and it's going to be going in and out. And this kind of finish will hide it. I'm back over here where that stone was. We're going to start there. And we're going to go this way. I already wet it good first. I'm going to wet it again. I already wet it before. Got to make sure it's real wet. That's what makes everything stick. Then I'm just going to plaster right over it. worried about it. This is like a old apartment building and uh, we just want to make it better. That's all. Better than it was. We're not worried about winning any trophies. Just do what we got to do. See that? It's flattening out there pretty good. Now I just get the brush. Go right through with the brush. Get into the corner here. You do it like this, you have to make a big deal out of it. It's going to come out the same anyway. Just get the brush and brush it. That's it. Just putting on the Swedish look or the combat finish, whatever you want to call it. Hides all them sins. Looks rugged, looks old. That's all. That's all we're doing. See, it has to be wet enough where it stays like this for a while so you can do this kind of thing. And to make sure your base is wet. So we're continuing on giving it this finish because so much irregularities in it, it hides everything. Then if they want to uh, patch it down the road or something, just paint it with Portland. Patch the patches and paint it with Portland and you're good. No big deal. Hides a lot of sins though. Okay, it's looking better. We got it all plastered up. Got it all plastered up over there. Then we come over here. It hit a lot of our sins, and then over here where that stone was showing, if you remember that, so that's all done. So I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. That was a two-part job. I have another video called Stone Foundation Repair part eight where I did all the stone repair on that job. Now that whole building, the whole thing I did cost less than $200 in materials. Masonry sand was $50 and the cement, Portland and mortar came to $150. It was $200, a little less than that to do that whole building. No use wasting your time with that junk stone. I explained it to you and that old cinder blocks, just patch it up. If you have a car and you got a rusty fender, you could either change the fender or patch it up as long as the frame is good. Frame was good on that uh, foundation, so you don't mess with it. You don't spend a lot of money trying to fix something, you just make it better. Now if that goes bad down the road, there's a couple spots it goes bad, you just chip it up a little bit, patch it up, mix yourself up some Portland paint, go over the whole thing and it'll look brand new again. I used the same mix through the whole thing. I put a thin coat on the second coat 
anytime you're working with cement you got to make sure it's wet at the beginning when I went over the stone part I made that Portland mix I wet it I painted it with the Portland and immediately go over it with the cement now when you do the second coat you don't have to do that you have to wet it good first so if you're brushing it and it's getting too stiff then you didn't wet it good enough so that's a big part of it I only did two coats on that job you could stand there or go back to that job and try to make it perfect but wasting your time my co uh, uncle Deuce used to call it the combat finish because you didn't waste a lot of time on it did what you had to do and then you move on so that's it I hope uh, you get something out of these videos Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next video.